Hi guys, it's Lohi and welcome to another video. And in this video, I'm drawing a character from Final Fantasy XIV, a dragoon actually. And it's going to be my friend's friend's character that I'm drawing because he brought me the game and the DLC. Is it a DLC? Probably, maybe. And um, yeah, my friend was actually the one who wanted to buy me the game, uh, but she lives in NA, I live in Europe, and apparently you have to buy like a specific version for a specific region, and it just got really complicated, so he kind of stepped in and was like, you know what, I'm just gonna buy it for you, and I was like, thanks, and decided that, you know what, I'm gonna draw something for you as a thank you, because, you know, I just wouldn't feel right taken from people. Uh, it's just, you know, if you get something, give something bad. That's, that's how I think of it, and uh, honestly, it was really fun. Uh, it was very, very challenging. Like, the character is the most anime character that you could ever think. I'll, I'll think you will see that soon, but it's a very edgy, dark lord, uh, emo kind of character. So I went with what's only appropriate for this kind of character, so the whole work is gonna be edgy as shit you will ever see in your entire life. No, just kidding. The only thing it's missing is blood. I kind of realized that later that I could have just made it like super edgy, but you know, it's it's a little bit edgy right now. I still liked it. Uh, it was challenging. I don't do this kind of thing on my own, and even when I try to draw like. Uh, different kind of works that are outside of my comfort zone. I never usually end up finishing them because, well, for reasons. I, I never finish anything. <laughs> but when it's a when it's like an art for someone else, you just kind of have a different strive for it. So, um, and it's always funny. Like I always like it when people feel really happy about the art they receive. So I guess it just serves as a fuel to get the art done which you know i'm i'm not complaining <laughs> and um another thing i noticed is that i actually have 800 subscribers which is very nice thank you thank you all um uh, it's i'm very flattered uh, and it's genuinely is nice because I know I don't post regularly, and I know the algorithm probably fucks me over so hard. Um, from what I've heard, other people is that if you don't engage daily, your you know views and numbers and everything just crush. Like they they just drop, crush. They drop, okay. And and I sort of noticed that myself, but you know I do YouTube more as a hobby, so I try not to care and don't for the most part, but you know the fact that I don't play the algorithm game and people still subscribe to me, it's it's genuinely very nice and it's actually very humbling, so thank you. And uh, another thing is that it's also my birthday today, yeah, at least for another 10 minutes, <laughs> but yeah, I am 23 at the moment, you can congratulate me or don't, I don't mind. Uh, I didn't do anything for my birthday, I didn't celebrate it. Um, I was planning to go to my mom's place to have a dinner like I do every year, but people's been busy. My mom's got a lot of work, work and my friend is helping her parents with the move, so nobody could make it. And I was just like, you know what, that's fine. Uh, I've had a good year, I just, birthdays just kind of don't feel like anything anymore. It's like, it's just like, okay, it's one day. I make plans more out of obligation, not because I was actually super excited for it. So, you know, the the fact that I was, I ended up spending my birthday pretty much just chilling alone at home. That, that was, you know, totally fine. And um, I'm actually rather positive about it because the past few years, uh, I've always had this sort of mentality that every 
every year, especially like start of the year, I've always been like, you know what, you know what, this year something's gonna change, you know, my life's gonna get better and change and you know, yada yada yada, something's gonna happen, uh, you know, my life is not gonna be boring and basically boring anymore. And every year nothing ever changes, so it's like a huge disappointment and this year I tried to take a different approach, you know, I'm just like, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna expect anything. I'm just gonna try to live at the moment the best I can and just enjoy small things. Like, before I would try to do the same, like, of course I would enjoy the normal basic days, but I always felt like I was so at hurry, like, I took so much pressure for having to succeed that it's kind of un unbelievable. Uh, the society, I guess, <laughs> am I gonna play the society? Yes, I am. <laughs> but you know, in a way, society does tell you that you know you gotta be productive and you gotta be successful and you know do these all kinds of things. And especially as an artist. People are always gonna tell you, you're not gonna make money by doing art, you know, art is not gonna make you successful, yada yada yada. So, then you feel like, now I have to prove them that I can, that if I want to be artist that I can be successful. And it's just so much pressure, because you're constantly like being like, I'm, I'm a failure, like I don't have, I'm not making money, you know, I'm not popular or, you know, whatever. And even if you try not to care about it, because I essentially stopped caring about the popularity long time ago because I realized that it was very toxic. But I was still taking a lot of pressure from the fact that I wasn't a professional artist. You know, it's it's not that I didn't care about popularity, but I did care about the fact that I wasn't seen as I'm not making money and I'm not working in the industry. You know, that's something I did take a lot of pressure on even after I stopped stop even after I stopped caring about popularity there it is and uh, now I've tried to change it uh, I decided to take a different different approach and just not care for with the flow uh, do what I do and I've been a lot happier like that because uh, <laughs> it's I guess it's so funny because you look like I always wondered that what what the f was wrong with me because I don't really consider myself like a super stupid, of course, I'm, I'm no Einstein, but compared to an average person, I, I think I'm normal. But yet for some reason when it came to like school or anything, school essentially, especially, uh, I would just fail, just miserably fail. I wasn't able to keep up, my body would give in, like I would physically become sick. Because I was so overloaded with everything that I had to do and I was just like, how do people keep up with this? And then I just kind of realized that some do, some don't. It's really, it is that simple, like, there are people who can work 9 to 5 and then there are those who can't. It's not, if I can do it, you can do it, because not everybody can, you know? So it's like there are those who can create amazing things and become millionaires, doesn't mean you can do it, because it's just a sad reality of life that if there's a group there's also gonna be a deviant from that group and it was so weird because after I realized it I guess is that well I'm just not and I don't want to make it sound like a super exclusive like oh you know I'm I'm like uh, the well I guess it does sound a little bit excusey, but you know, it's it's still a reality. Not everybody can have the same strive and same energy as other people. Not everybody can do the same things at the same speed, at the same pace as other people can. So uh, I was taking a lot of pressure because I wasn't like other people. So I was thinking that you know, it just because I cannot succeed at school doesn't mean I cannot succeed as an artist. You know? You know, art is what you put in, you get out, you know, if you're a good artist, you can do it. But then I felt so horrible because I was looking at other artists, I'm just like, these people draw daily, like, they do illustrations daily and they post on YouTube weekly and, and I was like so down by it. 
And I was like, I'm a failure as an artist too. So I just realized that these are the same people who can work in a school. Like the artist basis, I guess, used to be more deviant. It used to be for those people who essentially had nowhere to go. But now social media and, you know, places for the artist have become same industrial places as everything else. And it's kind of saddening or disheartening, but it is it is like that, you know? After I realized that, uh, it made me feel a lot better because I stopped, I guess, putting my self-worth on... I, I stopped measuring my self-worth based on what other people could do and what I couldn't do. Because despite the fact that I realized that, okay, I'm not good at school or studying or something like that, I was still treating myself as a failure as an artist because I wasn't uh, productive enough till I realized that you know some people just cannot keep up with that and I actually feel more productive now that I'm not taking pressure over it which is you know kind of surprising and um, yeah that's that's about it I know there's not really a conclusion it's just me rambling like always but uh, maybe it's still a uh, you know, good, good 10 minute listen when you're doing something else. But uh, yeah, the picture is almost ready, so I hope you have a nice day and bye bye!